and now it has told us we are recording and we're live on Facebook. Hi, it is Martha and uh, Cindy from uh, Allergy Dragon. And we are, if in case you don't know who we are, I'm a chef, a specialty diet and allergy chef and mom to a child with 33 food allergies and I have celiac disease and a host of other things. And my lovely sister right here is Cindy and uh, is can go ahead and introduce themselves again. That way I don't have to. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy. I am Martha's uh, sister, uh, Otis' sister, and also her celiac sister because I also have celiac disease as well. And I am her CFO for Allergy Dragon and also her co-host for our Allergy Dragon's Lair uh, series that we've been putting on. And I also sell Synogens and I'm the lifestyle guru kind of person for our new, uh, which I'll be blogging Cindy's Corner very, very soon. Matter of fact, this month will be the first blog. Okay, so, cool. Back to Marty. <laughs> back to Marty. And yes, in case you haven't noticed, she will call me Marty because that is my nickname with my family. So officially, we had said we were going to be doing a rainbow tea party. Well, it's not going to be a rainbow tea party. We're going to have our rainbow tea party instead on Sunday because our special guest just had some things come up and just couldn't make it. So we're really excited. I'm not going to say who the special guest is right now. We're going to kind of tease it the next couple of days. But Sunday at 730, our normal time, we're going to go ahead and do that then. So it's going to be a rainbow tea party. Instead, I did go ahead and bring some tea. This mug is smile. You're someone special. Okay. Cindy actually got me this when I was in the hospital. It had flowers in it at one point. <laughs> I hate the fact that it's like lefty. I don't drink. No. That's the only bad thing. So then, like, yeah. I turn it around, and it's like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, okay, so well. I have it facing me, telling me that I'm special. I need that. Yes, yes. Because you <laughs> well, I'm not uh, drinking tea. I'm actually drinking water, and I have. Oh wait a minute! I hate these. Oh, tea's not in my cup. Yeah. Well, I'm drinking actually water from my uh, Mrs. cup. I went from a Miss to a Mrs. in December, so. That it's was sparkly. Yes, it was sparkly. It was given to us by uh, um, John and Johnny and Angie got that for me. Oh, it's okay. a nice little wedding gift. That is really nice. Um, so I'm wearing my teal for because it's teal month. You know, it's food allergy awareness month. It's celiac disease awareness month, which is green and, you know, green chef coat, you know, okay. That was really not done on purpose, by the way. <laughs> Some people have said, oh, marketing wise, it was great. And I was like, just, I like the coat. <laughs> I didn't even think about the fact that green was the celiac's color. But, no, we, we didn't, we didn't talk. Yeah, we had several different colors we discussed. And so. I was like, oh, yeah, well, my green coat, I liked it the best. Everybody liked it too. And it was just, it had nothing to do at the time about celiac disease. It was like, well, those happy accidents, like meant to be. Okay, so we're going to do a catch up. Um, and we also have a couple of community questions, which have all been about the stuff that I've been doing the past two weeks, predominantly. We have gotten quite a few community uh, questions. Keep them coming. We will be answering them as we go. Sometimes I can quickly answer your questions, which I do. Uh, but if you have a community question for Allergy Dragon's Lair and it's something that you want us to cover, uh, keep those coming and may they even be, be a theme. And if you want us to feature you and shout out to you, you let me know. Um, I will let you know ahead of time if we are doing your actual, you know, I'll, I'll message you if you're on one of my uh, socials and I will let you know that we are covering your topic too, just to give you some heads up. So I didn't have time to really message very many people tonight though, because we had to kind of scramble, got told our, our we just had to like, you know, accidents happen things happen in our lives we got to adjust but we still wanted to have allergy dragons layer so we actually have plenty to talk about because that's just how we are <laughs> so I know that Cindy is planning on doing a blog I've had a couple people questioning asking about that our style guru our health and beauty which they haven't given themselves a title other than CFO um, <laughs> I really think they need to be like and I am this, but anyway, whatever. So Cindy, the multi-talented Cindy, um, they are going to be having a uh, blog come out soon. And I know you've been working on it, but we keep having, you know, things happen, life happens. So um, you kind of have an idea though, right? Of what you're going to be top, your topic is. Yeah, it, the, the initial is going to be an introduction and uh, uh, currently about the company in which I um, 
in the makeup system that does the skincare and makeup and whole system that I use with Synogen because I found them um, when I was going through a lot of skin issues, which, you know, between aging and between celiacs, um, I found that things were changing and different and didn't really work. And I was having more sensitivity. And one of the things I love about this company is the fact that they are gluten-free. There's no gluten in their products. Um, they do non GMO. And so I just felt like it, I need to get the word out because I wasn't aware that this company had been around over 20 plus years. And I'm like, goodness gracious so we need more of those companies and I'm also excited to hear about anybody else who has products that they just love and adore and I want to talk about those products as well so anything I find that will that I think is something great that I, I need to share I'm going to share on the blog so look out for those I'm hoping to have that done I'd like to have it done before I come down to Kentucky next week yeah that would be good yeah. um let me see here um Jane is watching on Facebook so hi Jane that is our other sister. Oops, I'm smacking my microphone. Hi, that's our other sister. Yeah, there's a third one. I know it's scary. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's our middle sister, the one directly in between us. Um, so anyway, so hi. And if anybody has any questions while they are watching us live, you can. And remember, the replay will be on YouTube. So I think that's awesome what you're going to be doing and I can't wait for it to start. And I know there's a couple of people that uh, follow Allergy Dragon that are looking forward to it and everything else that you're going to be bringing to the table. So those will be happening soon. Um, you know, if it doesn't happen before the end of next week, it's not the end of the world, right? Right. Um, um, but that's when you would hope that get to happen. Okay. So, yes, yes. yeah. So we've, I've been really busy. We've all been busy because they, everybody has been like, pushing everything out, which I really appreciate. I work with my siblings and they help me push everything out. So I really appreciate that. And all my friends that, you know, help. And of course, all the allergy dragon community that just like us and help push everything out. We really, really appreciate it. It, it really helps a lot. You have no clue how big you're just hitting share and liking stuff and commenting really helps us get the word out. So keep doing that, please. <laughs> so let's see last Wednesday I got to do my first wellness ambassador at a wellness Wednesday at Rainbow Blossom and I was at the one at St. Matthew's Mall which is I mean, St. Matthew's Mall no it's at St. Matthew's not at St. Matthew's Mall sorry so at St. Matthew's here in Kentucky and so uh, I ended up talking to a few people most people thought I just worked there they happen to be short staffed I do shop at that one a lot so it was like really good because I could show people where they things were and then we started talking about different things and I talked to you know tried to help some people out uh you know spread the word about allergy dragon and what I'm doing so it was kind of it was good it was like you know just meeting people and talking to them about anything and everything um and you know giving out some cards and it was fun um, and then all the employees appreciated the help that of me showing people around where stuff was. So <laughs> it was a win-win. Um, <laughs> so then, uh, so then Saturday, well, Friday morning, I actually got to be on the news again, hear local news uh, to promote a uh, how-to festival. It was like at 5.15 in the morning and to the people that texted me in the morning going, oh my gosh, you were so good. But people, to the people that knew I was going to be on and to the people that didn't know I was going to be on, thank you for watching. Thank you for telling me I was professional. Then I smiled a lot. <laughs> I was like, because when in doubt, you smile. <laughs> um, <laughs> My, my quick quick two minutes you know because we were on location and i've never done that but i've been i was in the new on the news um with wave three before but it was in studio we were actually filming a segment in the studio and we had like about eight minutes so it was much longer this was like two minutes it was on location there at the library so that was the first time for me but the guy doing it was really awesome he was really great everybody was eating the cookies beforehand and then he ate a cute cookie on um on the camera or on live and then everybody has asked me that seen it now has been like he didn't say if he liked the cookie or not <laughs> like, because he was kind of like timing you know and he was shaking his head like mm, we liked it but then it was like and then I was like kind of stand by and he, I could tell he's like stand by they're doing the thing and I'm like okay we're getting ready to cut and I was like well is it good but it, of course that wasn't televised and he did he actually took another cookie for anybody who wants to know he took a second cookie before I left and I tried to leave with the microphone on I had I just forgot it was on there it was a really tiny one and the one guy the tv guy who was like hey wait a minute like I'm like getting ready 
you have our microphone and I was like, oh, whoops, better take that off. So I took the microphone off. Um, I just was trying to steal some tech. I mean, come on, people. Um, <laughs> so probably wouldn't even going to integrate with what we have, but you know, I was trying to steal it. Those things aren't cheap. Um, so we got to do that. Then Saturday morning, got to get up and go to the How To Festival. And we were actually there with, um, I was there with Johnny and Angie both got to come, um, which was cool. Thank goodness for Angie being there because like really we needed the extra help because um, Johnny was taking his pictures and doing his t photography thing. And uh, uh, Angie was kind of being a marketer and she was giving out stuff and talking to people and helping move things along, gave out uh, uh, the samples and stuff. So thankfully my crew was there and we got everything in got the class we had about like 30 some odd people or so and it was really cool everybody that attended was really interested and I forgot how much like being with people <laughs> that many people and of the same mindset and it was just really fun so everybody that was there if you happen to be watching this thank you so much for coming out and uh, the couple of uh, quite a few people were like I'm going to contact you afterwards and things like that and some people have some people have it and that's fine you know life but um i can't wait to hear from everybody that that was there and um if they've tried the cookies and that kind of thing which yes i did a no bit cookie recipe and then um i got to go to land which is here in louisville kentucky and land is the louisville academy of nutrition and dietetics and i just did that monday night at six o'clock um they were being um uh they get sponsored and that kind of thing and it's um Bunch of basically a lot of dietitians here in the Louisville area get together and share knowledge, meet up, etc. And um, I had never been, but I had I'd been asked like three years ago to do this, and then COVID happened and everything. And so I got to actually meet the person that originally asked me to go in person. Um, so, which was actually my youngest, uh, my young. Okay, the reason I got in invited the first place not just because I work, I work in healthcare and I know quite a few RDs. I actually had never met uh, Caitlin. Um, I'll just say her now, Caitlin, and I had never met them before, but I happened to be affiliated with them because my youngest, um, her husband was my youngest computer science teacher for the whole time they were in, in, in high school. And so they were getting ready to like go on a competition thing and stuff and they were trying to prepare we were trying to prepare to make sure that everything was going to be safe and then she, Caitlin called me because she was kind of like really surprised that Vesper could even attend school and that kind of thing with 33 food allergies plus all their other topical allergies and things like that and then asked me to present then and possibly do like a cooking demo or something and then um I was able to do it for real finally in 2022 you know like three years later here I am <laughs> And it was really cool because like four of the RDs that I actually worked with were there, like that I've worked with previously. Um, none of them work with me now, but um, not directly, but I mean, we still stay in contact. So it was extremely exciting to see all of them there. I got very emotional telling my story because this one was, this presentation was they wanted to know about how it was being from a mom's that perspective and also how I created Allergy Dragon and like my own personal story because you know they see we, we they see patients and things like that and they want to be able to help them and just because you're a registered dietitian doesn't mean you know everything there is about food allergies and things like that I mean there's different different um levels to that like what their specialties are you know like a diabetic you know uh, somebody that specializes with diabetes or things like that. So um, some people are like, uh, you know, and, some, and there are dietitians that specialize in food allergies and celiac disease and things like that. So I always learn so much from RDs. And then it's always really good when you end up with RDs that are like, I learned so much from you. And like, you're, they really help push me all of the registered dietitians that I've worked with uh, in the past. And it's always great when they, you know, send people my way to help them cook because it's basically cooking. Hi, Marianne. Um, we have some more viewers on Facebook. So hi. It's a little delayed. So sorry. <laughs> but so hi. And if anybody has any questions, please let go ahead and type them in. Uh, and we'll, we'll answer them if we can. So it's really cool. It's just it was really cool to have it comes full circle. I started um, 
the YouTube channel in 2018. So actually, even though How To Festival was incredible, I just had so many amazing things the past couple basically days. It's like every other day since last Wednesday. It's been very busy for me, very busy. <laughs> but I can't complain about it. And then Saturday on the 21st, we have our actual, um, our next uh, food um, cooking class, virtual cooking class with Rainbow Blossom and it is Mango Cobbler, which is really cool. And it's 750 to buy a ticket and it's done virtually. If you happen to be in the area and you know where the wellness center is in, in Rainbow Blossom, I have people come there all the time too while I'm doing the class. Um, you're more than welcome to come that way as well and we can interact. But uh, I do, you know, record these sessions. Um, if for some reason you can't come to a class and you've bought a ticket, I don't offer refunds. What I do though is I record the sessions and I will email you a file of the actual you know, recording. So like some people don't think that they're gonna get to take part in the class. And so they don't, they're worried about wasting their money and I totally get that. So what we do is we actually record the class and we will send it to you. So if you can't make it to the actual live class, you still have a copy of the class and you've gotten to kind of virtually attend and you can always email us and message us questions. So uh, just wanted to let people know that is coming up and you can buy, buy tickets still. I sell them until like pretty close to, I think it's usually about 9 a.m. the next morning is what I tried to extend it to. I was ex t cutting it off at midnight and then quite a few people were complaining because they evidently buy it in the morning because they want to make sure they're going to be able to attend. So I was like, oh, okay, I understand that too. So, but that's why I don't offer a refund because I will email you the, the, the class. So I think, I think that's a pretty good buy deal. And then the next thing I have coming up, I'm like dominating the conversation. I am so sorry. Not really, no, but. <laughs> You've had a lot going on, so. I know. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to catch up with you. So it's, it's great knowledge, great, great That's true. So, we haven't yeah. had time to talk. No, um, mm -hmm. I've been too busy. Um, yeah. I will tell you one thing. Um, I, I'm gonna, before I get to faces, I wanna say this, okay. So there's this girl that um, I used to work with. They were there at, um, uh, her name's Elizabeth McIntyre and they have a website. I will link it below. And also when I put YouTube up. So they went into, they do like intuitive eating. They, they created their own uh, business and that kind of thing and actually left where I was working at. And it was funny today because they were posting and I really needed to hear this, okay? So, and it was talking about body positivity because when I, and I will share more pictures, but I shared a picture on Facebook not too long ago, be, like just Reese, like within like a few minutes before we went live um, from, you okay? Yep, okay. Um, from the um, land where I have a picture of it. And honestly, all I could see, I couldn't see the fact that I was happy and that I was standing beside a person I really like um, and uh, admire and just, uh, you know, adore. And I had a great time. I couldn't embrace that. All I could see was my belly. Like it just stood out to me, like my belly, like I couldn't enjoy the photo. I was just my belly. And then we had taken a picture of like all of us, um, together, like the four of us that had worked together. We did a, we did a, one, um, a picture of all of us and the same thing. And like the angle was just it. And so I, and I have gained some weight. So I'm very puffy and so I look like to me it just and all I could see was like oh double chins and like I didn't look very cute at all and I'm surrounded by these cute kids I call them kids they're younger than me but they're they're great women um fantastic women and um they are very great at what they do and obviously supportive because I didn't know that they were coming I knew one person for sure was going to be there. I had no clue the other three were showing up. So the fact that they were, they came, I just really appreciated it. But I needed her post so bad this morning. And like, then I was able to get over that and like appreciate the picture for what it was. And like Johnny had taken pictures uh, and I will have a post coming about the how-to festival. Took pictures of that. And all I could see was my, my puffiness and how fluffy I am. <laughs> And I was like, I couldn't enjoy the fact that like, look what I just did, you know? And uh, I think sometimes you just need that. So like I said, I'll link her below. I, I really do enjoy her post. And if you do need help with that, um, she's a really great resource. Um, but I just had to say that because it's just something I've been struggling with. And I think everybody struggles with it. I don't care 
how small or how big you are because she is definitely not a, 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 a big person by any means and talked about body positivity as well so it has nothing to do with the size you are at that doesn't make you happy you know you really have to make yourself happy about it um I'm so thankful I'm not 400 pounds you know <laughs> like like I had to look at it that way yes I've gained some weight but I'm not 400 pounds I'm alive I'm able to walk you know I had to um but it was a very like I said it was very emotional all both of them were emotional but in different ways because with the how-to festival hi guys thank you um the uh, how-to festival was so much about just community and the allergy, I mean, just community in Louisville, but also allergy community and, and that kind of thing. And then here's land and it was about food community and then sharing my story. And so very different, same, but not the same, if that makes any sense at all. I hope, I hope I make sense. Do I make sense, Cindy, somewhat? What? <laughs> Well, I think it, 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 each scenario is different when you're dealing with it, so mm -hmm. and, and the people and the interactions that you have. So, so yeah, yeah, it makes sense what you said. Yeah, and they they all asked really great questions, like you know, informative questions, things like that, and 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 asked you know for my expertise, and that and that was really cool. And it's always great to share knowledge with like-minded people, even if they're just they're there to learn and that kind of thing. And I forgot how much I love to to teach sometimes, you know, like certain things and just showing people new things, you know, um, cause our belief here is that, you know, allergies don't discriminate. So we don't either. And that everyone deserves delicious food and a seat at the table. Um, so the next thing I have coming up after the, you know, that's the first thing coming up, I should say in June, we got a couple things coming up in June, but the first thing coming up in June is faces. And I cannot wait to go to Chicago and there's still tickets available. If anybody wants to like make reservations and go and happen to see us or see me anyway. And my husband's coming. You probably, he probably won't talk though. He's pretty quiet. He's pretty quiet. He might be the dude in the shirt that says celiac by marriage, you know, type of thing. Um, but I'll talk as we can tell. <laughs> Um, people have been giving us hearts and liking everything we we're saying. So thank you so much. And if anybody has any questions on Facebook, let us know. Um, so Cindy, you're coming up to West, or not West Virginia. Why did I say West Virginia? <laughs> I haven't been in West Virginia for years. I mean, I haven't even been able to visit for a long yeah. time. Um, so anyway, I, we lived in Virginia, all, West Virginia all my life. That's where I was born. But I've been here for over 20 some odd years. So um I'm, you know, and I come, everybody was born in Louisville, except me. Except for, except for you, except for yeah. you, yeah. And I only have one kid that was born in Louisville, but anyway, <laughs> all three different states. I was like, whatever. <laughs> so, um, so you're coming in. Yes. Yeah, so what are we doing? Uh, so we're going to our, um, a family reunion on the Perry side. Yeah. It's called Perry, Perry Cousins reunion, right? Well, Perry or, family um, reunion, I think. Perry family it just happens to be a lot of cousins. Cousins. <laughs> cousins. For us, it's a lot of cousins. A lot of cousins. A lot of cousins. So, yeah. Yes, I'm coming in. We are coming in on the 27th. And then we're leaving on June 3rd. Um, so, I'm really excited about that. Um, I actually, going to, we've got a cabin down in Clarkson, Clarkson Kentucky. Um, and it's on Nolan, it's in the vicinity of Nolan Lake. And we grew up on Nolan Lake, spent our summers on Nolan Lake. Marty didn't get to, but uh, Johnny, me, and Jane did with mom and Aunt Ramona. Mm -hmm. And it was usually, if I recall correctly, and I mean, we were, I was 11 when we left, but we would go down for three weeks, come back for a week, three weeks, come back for a week, three weeks. and that that's that was our summer um spent on the on the on the lake it was just so much fun and brings back wonderful memories and my husband is uh, a fisherman loves to fish so he's really excited we've got our fishing license so he's ready to go fishing and um, I just wanted to take time to really show him you know how I spent my summers mm -hmm. growing up as a child so 
Yeah, we will be coming up there. Me and Don and Vesper are going to be coming up there and staying. Okay. Obviously, there will be no fish. <laughs> right, right. No, no, we no can't fish have fish. And no fact, beef we'll, um, we'll... and no pork. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they share pork, though, so it's okay. <laughs> they may have some common ground. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so anyway, so, so and no gluten. So um, yeah, it's a big. Oh, yeah. It'll be a uh, yeah. I'm controlling the food for the few days that I'm there because that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that, that makes more sense for you to <laughs> be the one to you know create it, and I just send you money saying here, you know, so everybody's eating. You know everything that because especially with Vesper, Vesper, it's a challenge with all of those thirty three food allergies and I'm like going no you you come you bring everything for the till you're there and then uh you know when we can get a little bit more relaxed when you all mm -hmm. leave you know yeah um, we still have to watch a lot of things between uh Will's you know can't have any red meats and you know has to be very careful and my food allergies as well so it's always yeah. challenging so it's always a bonus when you can have a, a, a personal chef for a few days, though. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a little nice for y'all. It'll be a little nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because <sighs> Will, Will usually does a lot of the cooking. A yeah, lot so, of the cooking. so he might feel like it's either going to be really great or really bad for him because like I'm a control freak when it's in the kitchen. I mean, I do. I did really enjoy it, though, when Vesper was cooking a lot. I even brought that up in my how to that's so why I was like, get your kids in the in the in the kitchen and cook with you. It's really important because eventually they start to cook for you because they don't want to wait till you get home to eat. And then you come home and it's fully cooked. And then I said, but that stops when they go to college. <laughs> <laughs> And it does. Um, and then they expect you to cook for them every time they're there, they're here at the house. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> every day, like every day you're here, I should cook. Why? so um i just had the weirdest thing it's like playing music no i'm not playing music um no okay it's saying like audio settings that's bizarre okay we, i don't hear music anywhere do you <laughs> i don't hear any music okay maybe we sound musical okay well <laughs> i want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching um you have anything else you want to add i mean most of the community questions we had was like what classes do we have coming up? What's faces? What what was I doing with land? But that one did, had just come in because I just posted about it. So you can always check out Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube channel, obviously subscribe. Allergydragon.com, subscribe and you will get information. I usually send out posts at least, well, like one email at least a month usually. Unless I'm taking time off, then I will, you won't hear from me. I don't like to like over, you know, I don't want to spam you with anything. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, and then, um, you know, wellness I ambassador. Have, yeah. And I also have a Glam All Beauty More on, it's called Glam All Beauty More on Facebook. I do have a, a group that's all about synogens. And I try to teach as well as uh, give inf information about anywhere from skincare to our, our lip sense, which is what this company is really how I got involved with the uh, synergens was with their lip sense and lips that so won't move on you and you don't leave back behind traces that grandma has been at the house and kissing on babies. So the, um, uh, you can join there as well. And I can be also, you can always pass through anything. And I'm also on um, Facebook as Cynthia and De Cynthia Ann Dennis. So feel free to friend me. I'm more than well, welcome the company. And don't forget Sunday, this coming Sunday at 730, we will have a very special guest and our tea party uh, that we had to reschedule from this event. So please join us. And it is a rainbow themed tea party and we will have rainbow snacks and you know we didn't really and i did and, and I'm, i have so many special things i can't i can't wait i have a little bit of decoration started but then i was like i'm not going to do everything because you know we, we had to postpone it so yeah. we're having a rainbow tea party and rainbow means quite a few things quite a few things it really does yeah mm -hmm. um people people because people are just going to assume one thing but rainbow can mean lots of different things i'm just throwing it out there yeah <laughs>
And we'll have um, that discussion on Sunday. That's it, right. So you have to come and watch us. And then obviously we'll have the replay on YouTube. We'll be watching out for this replay on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for everybody that's been watching on Facebook. I've been seeing lots of likes and hearts, but I have not seen any questions. So hopefully there wasn't anything we ignored. We didn't do it on purpose if we did. So follow us. And if you happen to be watching the replay, obviously subscribe, like the video, comment down below if you want to see other things like this and what other com you know things you want us to do. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop recording and then we'll say goodbye to Facebook. If I can hit stop recording.